Hello everyone, welcome to Multilingual. Today we're talking about tech questions. You know, those short questions at the end of a statement, don't you? Like, you don't like bananas, do you? She's so smart, isn't she? You spoke to him yesterday, didn't you? If you think it might be helpful for you, then keep watching this video. First of all, what are question tags and why are they useful? They are short questions that come at the end of sentences and are very common in speech and informal writing. So it's really important to know how to make them, how to use them, and also to know some really important rules about question tags. In this video, I'd like to speak about six rules about question tags that you have to keep in mind. And here is rule number one. If the main sentence has an auxiliary verb, this verb is repeated in the tag. Auxiliary verbs are, for example, is, are, has, will, can, should. We are good friends, aren't we? So I repeat are, I repeat the same verb. She's a good driver, isn't she? We have known each other for years, haven't we? She'll be back in a minute, won't she? You can tell good jokes, can't you? So you see, I always repeat the same verb, the same auxiliary verb as in the main sentence. The rule number two, if the auxiliary verb is positive in the main sentence, then the tag must be negative. And if the main sentence is negative, then the tag must be positive. An example, it's raining, isn't it? Positive main sentence and the tag is negative. It's not raining, is it? Again, negative main sentence, but positive tag. You know, it's like plus and minus or minus and plus always the opposite. You haven't talked to her yet, have you? She has been working here for a while, hasn't she? The rule number three, if there is no auxiliary verb, then the tag is do or does in present and did in past. Example, you talked to her yesterday, this is past, so the tag must be didn't you? She works for the same company. This is present, right? So the tag must be, doesn't she? Let's look at the opposites. You didn't talk to her yesterday, did you? She doesn't work for the same company, does she? Again, the pattern is the same, plus and minus or minus and plus. The rule number four about question tags, in speech, the meaning of a question tag is shown by your intonation. If the tag is a real question, then the voice goes up. For example, you're waiting for Anna, aren't you? You're waiting for Anna, aren't you? It goes up because you really want to ask this question. You really want the person to answer it. If the tag isn't a question, but a way to invite the person we're talking to, to make a comment or to react to what we're saying, then the voice goes down because it's not a real question, right? For example, it's such a cute place, isn't it? You see, isn't it? Like, it goes down, I'm not really asking you, I just want you to agree with me, I want you to comment on the place and to say, yeah, it is, the place is really cute. The rule number five is beyond the basics, but also something you have to know, really important. We know that the question tag for is, isn't. It's a nice day, isn't it? And for are, aren't. We're friends, aren't we? But what about am? Like if you want to say something about yourself and you say, I'm right here. What would you say, am I? That sounds a bit weird, right? And it is weird because the question tag here is, aren't I? Aren't I? I'm right here. Aren't I? I'm a bit late, aren't I? And here is a strange thing. The moment the main sentence gets positive, uh, sorry, negative, like I'm not, then the tag 
is am I? I'm not running late, am I? I'm not annoying you, am I? So for negative tags, we say aren't I? But for positive, we use the verb am again and say am I? The rule number six and the last one is about imperatives. So what about imperative constructions? When you command someone to do something, you know, like close the window, answer the phone, don't talk to her. What is the right question tag here? Yes, imperatives have question tags as well. In imperatives, we use would you in a positive statement and will you in a negative statement. For example, don't talk to her about the issue. Will you? Negative imperative, positive tag, will you? Answer the phone, would you? Not wouldn't you. Would you? Answer the phone. Positive, imperative, and would you as a tag. Don't open the door, will you? Close the window, would you? So again, for negative imperatives we use will you? And for positive imperatives, we use would you? Okay, guys, it's time to practice. Now you have to make tags. I'll be giving you the main sentence and you have to finish it with a tag. It's lovely weather today. Isn't it? You come from Australia. Don't you? She owns you some money. Doesn't she? You don't like cheesecakes. Do you? We've been here before. Haven't we? I'm doing the right thing. Aren't I? She talked to him yesterday. Didn't she? They didn't spend much time together. Did they? She couldn't answer your question. Could she? You'll pick up the kids from school. Won't you? They've been staying with you since Monday. Haven't they? Pass me the salt. Would you? Don't call me like that. Will you? Well done, how was the practice? I hope you mastered it. If not, then go back in the video, do it again. Practice makes perfect. The more you practice, the more you benefit from it. Remember? That's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching this video till the end. And I do hope that you liked it. If it is so, then give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in my next one. A long time.